Dutasteride is one of the best hair loss ingredients in the world. It has been used by millions and millions of customers, but it can come up with a lot of possible side effects. In today's video, you're gonna learn everything about this medication and if you should take it or not. Let's go. First, let's start with the history part. Dutasteride, under the name of Avodart, is very similar with finasteride, but stronger, and it's meant to treat Benjin prostate hyperplasia, which means enlarged prostate, to reduce frequency of urination and cancer risk. The medication has been invented in 1996 and in 2001 has been approved by FDA in order to treat Benjin prostate hyperplasia. Because the medication is stronger than finasteride, ever since has been approved to treat Benjin prostate hyperplasia, it has been used worldwide by millions and millions of customers to treat androgenic alopecia aka male pattern baldness. Dutasteride has two types of formulation, the oral one which is FDA approved and topical one which is not FDA approved. By the end of this video you will understand why dutasteride topical is not FDA approved. Now let's discuss about the mechanism of action of dutasteride. As you know, we go bald and we lose hair androgenic alopecia because of the DHT sediments that's affecting the follicles beneath the skull. Dutasteride is a 5-alpha reductase receptor inhibitor, which means that it's going to reduce the production of dihydrotestosterone DHT between 85-95% to 95 over your entire body. The difference between finasteride and dutasteride is the following. When you take finasteride, it's going to inhibit the 5-alpha reductase receptor type 2, which is produced in the prostate, and when you take dutasteride is going to reduce the production from type 1 which is from the skin and liver and this is the main reason why dutasteride is stronger than finasteride. In this very small graph you will understand how free testosterone the blue cell is getting converted into dihydrotestosterone with the help of the 5 alpha reductase receptor. Very important that this happens between age 20 to 25 but genetics plays a huge role. You can have this conversion sooner or later in life that's why male pattern baldness can occur on different ages on different males depending on the gene. Now let's discuss about dutasteride side effects. As I mentioned dutasteride is finasteride's stronger brother which means all the possible side effects of finasteride can occur with dutasteride but on a higher percentage in terms of risk. Skin rashes, orthostatic hypotension, erectile dysfunction, ejaculation problem, loss of libido, testicle pain and reduce of sperm count. As you can see a lot of these possible side effects are related with hormonal ones which means that it's extremely risky if you don't take it properly. Now let's discuss about my personal opinion about this medication. Now personally I have never used dutasteride or finasteride in order to fight hair loss and the reason for that is because genetically I have a preconditional over my left testicle called varico cell and when I wanted to take this medication I went to my doctor and he said because of my precondition I shouldn't take it because that's going to cause some kind of problems over there but at the same time I'm not against this medication and I will advise you to do the following thing one you must find a very good doctor that has a lot of experience with this medication in order for him to give you the proper advice and at the same time to give you the proper dosage for you to take in order to fight hair loss number two you must go and do all the proper analysis before deciding and taking this medication such as free testosterone, total testosterone, SHBG, testicle analysis and sperm count analysis. And after you receive all these analysis, go to your doctor in order to ensure that all the metrics are perfectly functional and you don't have any problems with those. Number three, and this is the most important, you must ensure yourself and must be sure that you don't suffer from all of these possible side effects already because if you do, and taking dutasteride or finasteride are just going to make things worse. In the beginning of the video, I've told you that topical dutasteride is not FDA approved. The reason for that is because when you apply topical over your body, the pro-drug dutasteride has a very weak skin absorption, which means it's not going to get metabolized and the benefits of dutasteride in reducing your DHT levels are not going to occur. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that everything I've explained on this board taught you everything you needed to know about dutasteride as a medication and will help you consider if you want to take it in order to treat male pattern baldness. Comment down below any questions you might have, we will reply to all of them. Like our video in order to help us with the algorithm. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to see our future hair loss and beard growth videos. Until next time, bye bye.